The overall goal of this procedure is to evaluate the sensitivity and specificity of a new chromogenic medium for the ability to detect and isolate Vibrio parahemolyticus as compared to conventional media. This method can help answer key questions in the food and environmental microbiology field, such as what is the prevalence of Vibrio species in food and harvesting environments. The main advantage of our procedure is that many bacterial isolates can be used including in the presence of a food matrix. Before culturing the bacteria, autoclave all of the agar media. Then cool the agar to 45 to 50 degrees Celsius in a water bath. When the agar is ready, arrange empty petri plates in stacks of five to six plates. Then, starting from the bottom of the stack, pour the molten agar into each plate until about half full replacing the lids after pouring. Allow the agar to solidify at room temperature for at least 12 hours. To set up the microbial strain cultures, when the agar is ready, use a sterile inoculating loop to transfer the cultures onto the appropriate non-selective agar plates, streaking the bacteria in a pattern that will allow the observation of isolated colonies. When all of the colonies have been plated, incubate the cultures upside down at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius for up to 48 hours, except for Campylobacter species, which should be incubated in a closed lid jar containing a gas pouch to produce a microaerophilic environment. Observe the colony morphology at the end of the incubation. Pure cultures should yield colonies that exhibit a similar colony morphology. To grow out the